Hello everyone, Richard here, and welcome to episode 18 in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. In this video, we are looking at one of the staple assault rifles in Payday 2, the AK Rifle. Based on the AK-74, and more specifically the AKS-74, it is a Russian assault rifle from the AK-47 lineage. Despite its similar appearance, the 74 chambers a completely different round. The 5.45 by 39 mm intermediate round, capable of maintaining a more stable trajectory with less recoil and similar stopping power. In game, the AK-74 is one of the first assault rifles available, making it very inexpensive and readily available for new players. However, with the addition of the Butcher AK Mod DLC, the AK rifle can be customized to fit quite a few roles, but more on this later. Base damage for the AK comes in at 56, a weird spot on the damage table and just shy of the important 64 damage breakpoint. While not a showstopper above overkill, it still will have enough power to defeat most basic enemies with just a handful of headshots, even on Death Wish and Death Sentence, although heavy enemies may become a chore at this point. With some creative upgrading, the AK can reach the 64 damage breakpoint, making it far more effective against most basic police units, shaving off a shot to kill in most cases. Without critical hits, Death Wish and Death Sentence dozers are extremely resistant to the AK, and a proper dozer killing secondary may be a prerequisite for taking this weapon on the final two difficulties. Rate of fire is a bit on the low side for the assault rifles at 652 rounds per minute, just edging out the CAR-4. While this will prevent you from overspraying weaker enemies, it will drastically increase your time to kill against bulldozers, tasers, and medics. A high fire rate or high damage secondary is an excellent way to compensate for this, allowing you to have the best of both worlds. Accuracy is low by default, perhaps an unfortunate misconception that follows the AK family of rifles. Despite this, with a few modifications, the accuracy of this weapon can be increased, making it much easier to use at extended distances. With most practical setups, you should be sitting around 80 or so accuracy. Considering the AK favors fully automatic gameplay, the less than perfect accuracy won't be a big issue at long range due to its good volume of fire. Like with most assault rifles though, the AK will function best at middle ranges, keeping enemies at an arm's length. Stability fares much better than accuracy with a base value of 60. Compared to its 7.62mm cousin, the AK rifle is a much more controllable platform overall with a much more predictable recoil pattern than other higher damage rifles. With the addition of the Courier and Butcher mod packs, the AK rifle should have no problem obtaining 100 stability even with damage optimized configurations. This paired with acceptable accuracy allows it to function very well in fully automatic fire, useful when dealing with more durable enemies such as heavies or tasers. Magazine size is 30 rounds, very typical for most assault rifles but can be increased rather easily with skills or modifications. The low rate of fire also makes the 30 rounds last a bit longer than a rifle like the Claron or Union. Reload speeds are a little on the slower side for the assault rifles, the AK manual of arms requiring a bit more skill to quickly reload than an AR platform. Full reloads will take 3.87 seconds and tactical reloads will take 2.8 seconds. Using the speed pull magazine will reduce these times by 1.9 seconds, making them much more bearable and in line with its competition. Total ammo is again relatively standard for the medium damage assault rifles at 150 rounds by default and 188 rounds with fully loaded. In most cases, the base amount of ammunition should be plenty if you're on Mayhem and below. With active ammo scavenging and fully loaded ace recommended for death wish and death sentence. Like many assault rifles, especially in the AK and car family, the AK rifle has a lot of modding potential to fit a variety of roles. However, due to its low level requirement and cheap cost, we will be tailoring our build for an easy to use setup. Our mod list will include the Modern Barrel, Competitor's Compensator, Accuracy Boost, Full Auto Mod, Crab's Rail, LED Combo, Plastic Grip, 
low drag or speed pull mag, and the war torn stock. If money or modifications are an issue, I would focus on the modern barrel, full auto mod, and competitor's compensator first, as these will bring you to the 64 damage breakpoint. Otherwise, an optic of your choice can be included as well, but out of principle, I prefer not to add optics to the AK family of weapons. For skills, I went with a full auto body expertise build with the addition of Bullseye Ace, Iron Man, and Shock and Awe for increased durability and effectiveness against shields. Our perk deck of choice will be the Muscle perk deck, a very straightforward and forgiving perk deck thanks to its copious amount of health. For equipment, I always like running extra ammo bags as well as fully loaded Ace as a Grenadier class. The best options for loud heists for throwables are the dynamite since it cannot be detonated by being shot, and molotovs for area denial. As far as strategy is concerned with this build, thanks to your high armor and even more impressive health, you should have no problem absorbing a fair amount of punishment, especially on mayhem and overkill. Use your AK for dealing with most basic enemies resorting to a high damage, High fire rate secondary like the CR 805B to take down bosses and bulldozers. Use muscle to your advantage to keep large groups of enemies pinned down and panicking, which will mitigate the police's ability to return fire. Also remember, with fully loaded ace, you will gain back grenades at a quick pace, assuming you pick up drops frequently. So don't be afraid to spam molotovs or dynamite. Overall, the AK is a solid and cheap assault rifle, capable of hitting some good damage breakpoints with only 3 modifications. However, its low fire rate and unexceptional other stats limit it from being extremely effective on Deathwish and above without the use of dodge and critical hits. Play to this weapon's strengths and keep your enemies at a distance for the best results. Thank you very much for watching, join me next time when we take a look at the Thanatos Sniper Rifle. Let me know what your favorite ways are to use the AK Rifle in the comments section below, but until next time, happy hunting.